Hello everyone, it's glad that I had the chance to have a talk and share my lesson learns with you. Super, super excited to be here. Thanks for the organizers of PyCon Epic 2022 prepared such a nice virtual venue here today. This is my self-introduction. I like nature's open source and of course Python. I have been organizing PyCon Taiwan as a volunteer for years. I took charge of the lead for many different teams, for sponsorship, recruitment, and chair. During these years, I co-worked with my lovely friends of the organizing team like David Jr. to co-found Data Squad. I also kept co-working with Rex and Yu Han after founding recruitment team. In 2019, when I was the chair, with the help of all the all of our teams, especially sponsorship team, we made a historical high by doubling the total amount of sponsorship. We appreciate all of our sponsors, especially Python Software Foundation. Thank you, PSF. With the historical high of sponsorship that year, that year, we tried our best to use as much of the sponsorship as possible to give back to the community. In 2019, we offered financial aid more than 7,000 7, USD for supporting people who want to make the Python community better to attend this regional PyCon, PyCon Taiwan. Apart from the usual conference events like talks, tutorials, and sprints, we also hosted different events to create environment for helping attendees to, and speakers to create as many connections as possible. For example, we prepared Pi Night for, for attendees enjoying the music, beers, and chat. We also prepared the cultural tour for speakers to talk about Python on a boat in the middle of the Danshui River and enjoy beers, wine, and the skyline of the city. Even more, two years later, the community of PyCon Taiwan organizing team has its own podcast program, as known as PyCast. Yes, I said, the community of PyCon Taiwan organizing team. I mean, the organizing team itself is essentially a community as well, a sub, smaller community of a wider Python community. How, how did all this, this thing happen? Before I dive into the details of my lesson learned, I would like, I would like to share a beautiful picture with you first. This is a snowflake. Every snowflake is different. There is no identical snowflake in the world. They, they look identical at the first glance, but may, but may vary at a very small scale level. If you, took, if you look into the details close enough, a snowflake is composed of ice nuclei and many other water molecules. Each water molecules and nucleus has, total, has totally no idea about the snowflake would look like exactly. Each water molecules and nucleus has no architectural blueprint to build a snowflake. But all of the water molecules and nuclei, nu nuclei, nuclei build up a snowflake with beautiful pattern in the end. The beautiful pattern of snowflake is a feature that each water molecule and nucleus does not have. This is so-called emergence in the nature. The emergence occurs when an when a entity is observed to have properties its parts do not have on their own. On their own. <coughs> Properties or behaviors or which emerge only when the parts interact 
in a wider whole. The community shows emergence as well in a wider whole. Nucleus is too snowflake, as core organizers is too community. The core organizers of community event won't be entirely sure about what will emerge in the end. And the process of organizing an event is a bit organic. For example, PyCast is a product totally incubated by the community itself. It's not a plan originally by any team leads or chairs of the organizing team. Then you may ask how to make a community that makes PyCast. Initiating a community is a very sim similar to gardening, and the leader is the gardener. The mindset being a gardener is a bit different from being an architect. An architect is entirely sure what they will build and what they will deliver in the end, but a gardener might be not so sure about what the garden will look like exactly at a centimeter level. The gardener will never know when, when and where a bird carries a seed that far from the forest and poo in your garden. A flower that you don't expect now grow from the poo, changing the layout of the design of your garden. The flower is to the garden as a new project new team or new subgroup is to the community. Along with the mindset of gardening, I usually use the following three steps to help myself initiate the organ organic process of a community and wait for something emerging from the community during the organic process. First step, do not Burnout. Burnout is commonly seen in open source community and unfortunately it's difficult to spot until it shows up. People who come to the organizing team often have the self-motivated mindset because most of us are volunteering with no pay. Self-motivation or say passion is a powerful mindset. And it's so dangerous because it's so powerful. When the source of the passion focuses on some external barometer of success, it may take the passion out of the control and burn us out. Make sure you, make sure you enjoy the process of volunteering rather than focus on external barometers of success will greatly help and prevent you from burning. Another solution is to get more organizers. This is essentially that I founded the, re the recruitment team a few years ago. We keep searching like-minded people systematically and constantly. We really exerted a lot of effort at the very beginning, but a few years later, it pays off. Second step, create connections for the community. Weak links create new values. Creating connections is actually a certain amount of weak connections is a conference I mean that. The amount of connections is often a prerequisite to initiating chemistry between people. Then the chemistry will make the community activities organic and then show the magic of emergence. We never know we never know what will happen exactly, but we will know something will happen if the amount of the connection of the community is big enough. This is another motivation that I, another reason that I found the recruitment team of Python Taiwan. With the help of the recruitment team, we can keep the base number of the whole organizing team big enough to have some chemistry emerged. For example, there are about 
There are around 140 volunteers in the organizing team as of July 2022. The third step is to group the people who have shared, who have shared interest. And if possible, their shared interest fits the goal of the organizing team. This is a figure from the book, The Art of Community by Juno Beckham. This is a group, uh, this, is, this is our individuals of a community. They are red, blue, and yellow, growing dot, cute dots. So firstly, uniting people by their, uniting people by their interests and passions. And then encourage them, encourage different groups to communicate with each other. Juno Bacon mentioned this approach in his book, The Art of Community. Refer to it for more details and some steps that I did not mention in this talk. This approach is what I did not know in the first few years of my journey organizing community events. I usually wish that I could know it earlier. I was not aware that it's such a essential method to catalyze the chemistry of community emergence. Again, thanks for the effort of recruitment team. The team also helped the new starters of volunteers to find the team fitting their share, share the interest that maybe sponsorship, maybe program team, or simply just create a new team that fits them the most. We also encourage all of our volunteers, if possible, to try to help in different teams so we can enhance the communication between different teams. So takeaway. A healthy community shows symmetry and organism. Organism. Embrace the em emergence and organism of community with gardening mindset and use the following three steps. Don't burn out, creating connections, uniting people, encouraging them to communicate with each other to initiate the emergence of community. There are some stars for your reference if you are not interested in participating the amazing organic process of the emergence of community. You may consider to join the regional PyCon organizing team in your place to see how they work. We can also register Python Software Foundation basic member or become managing member if you organize regional PyCon or become supporting member with donation to Python Software Foundation. There are more different types of memberships are available as well please refer to the website of Python Software Foundation. I'm also writing down more details of my lesson learned in the past few years for organizing regional PyCon. Hopefully when, I, when we meet in the virtual menu, virtual venue, I already have the, first, the very first version of the draft of my book. This book is also a witness of my journey of organizing regional PyCon. I have to thank all the friends co-working with me in the past years for organizing PyCon Epic 2022 and PyCon Taiwan in some years. They are Rex and Yu Han for role running recruitment team. Thanks Angela for brainstorming when we were drafting the how-to and guides of the recruitment workflow a few years ago. Thanks, Debbie, Debbie Jr., for leading the technical details to keep running Data Squad on the right track. There are more projects and teams and people that I didn't mention today simply because of the time limit. I appreciate all, all, all of your help to give me such a nice journey. Thank you.